Hello people with the spirit of learning, welcome back into my youtube channel, my name is Angga and now we're gonna learn about the user interface design animation with the XML and then with the Kotlin, okay? Maybe some of you do remember that I have been designing this kind of the design that we did together so if you haven't watched those video, make sure you uh, jump into this couple of videos and after that, you can learn how do you animate the design with the Vlinto, just like this. And now, right now, I don't have any animation on here, so we're gonna crack it together. We're gonna start it from the zero to achieve this kind of animation, okay? So it's pretty nice if we do animation because uh, we want to tell the user that our app is so fancy and uh, to let the user know if uh, if there is the animation and it just make them feel happy okay so for you if you're lazy enough to completing these five videos to make this kind of design you just need to go straight into my github you can uh, get this project okay you can get this and you will get like this kind of design and after that we just continue to make the animation okay so let's get started so everyone we got the sample from this kind of video so we're gonna make this kind of animation okay so let's go to the android studio project over here in the res uh, directory that i'm going to uh, create a new directory for the android resource directory okay i don't know it's kind of lagging and bug here but if you click right here and you'll see there is the android resource directory and it choose anim okay so then okay so basically if you see this kind of video there is different type of animation right once is scale and translation once it's scale and the alpha and once again it's just translation with the alpha okay so we're gonna make a lot of animation over here with the xml and we're gonna control them and passing this animation with the kotlin okay so first of all we have to uh, create animation resource and here i will give a uh, top top to bottom okay ttb means that top to bottom okay so the option of this animation that we use translate so basically if you see again into this video this is from the top into the bottom so it's called the vertical if we want to walk with the vertical we have to use the translation y okay so here we can choose uh, from y delta uh, maybe minus so minus 100 to y delta 0 okay just like that and then with the alpha because alpha will handle this opacity so from alpha 0, 0.0 into alpha 1.0 okay so at the header we have to give the controller so means that the controller will give the translation sorry the duration the duration about 650 o and uh, we have to give the a start of such this is just like a delay so we give them maybe a hundred okay and that's all then right now we have to go to Kotlin right so here I will declare the animation okay so declare here and I will give fall which is ttb and animation utils and load animation and this are anim and ttb that's it and right now we have to go back into our layout to get the those ids so those ids are a uh, header and then subtitle so we have to declare this kind of 
our text view header title and find okay find view id just like that and here uh, we can get it as the header title and as text view okay so you just need to change it subtitle and here subtitle okay you have to uh, ensure that those IDs are correct right okay once you get in you can uh, set the animation so here header title start animation ttb and we just duplicate it just like that okay and now we're gonna apply into this emulator we would like a couple of minutes if we open the app you see there is animation right we try again by force close and then reopen and there is animation wow pretty nice okay and now we just need to continue for another variant of this animation so if you see in the video there is animation from the scale to big okay so scale to big okay and here we just need uh, copy this alpha because we don't use translate anymore we just use scale okay so from okay 0, 0.0 into the 1.0 and 1.0 and we have to ensure the pivot is 50% because we want to keep that element sorry that component into the middle right and here we need uh, in the ttb there is the start offset and the duration so we need it okay so here we keep it uh, maybe just about 400 okay and we just need to repeat again change it into the stb scale to big okay and then we have to register this image view ic cards okay so here we have to give uh ic cards sorry just like that and this is supposed to be image view okay cool and we have to pass the the animation here with the scale to big okay and now we just need to play into this emulator and we would like to wait for a couple of moments okay it's installing this api key wow nice right so here we try again to reopen wow pretty nice and now just go ahead for the rest animation so if you see in the video you see the bottom columns all right it's it just like waterfall right is up it appears one by one so we're gonna make them by creating a variant animation so this is the master one you have to create your own you just need follow the the last step that we did together and use this translate okay and then you got btt2 it could be a different delay is 800 and then this is a thousand and then we got a btt3 so this is a thousand two hundred right so we got different offset okay and then the f the thing that you need to do is just repeat again so first of all you have to creating a dos variable a different variable and then you have to give the id into your items its item has id result one result two and the last one is the result three okay so after that you just need to passing this animation and we're gonna preview into this emulator just wait for a couple moments depends on your machines
okay so it's supposed to be working properly like the one that we get. wow nice right let's try again i'm going to click all and wow amazing so the last step is providing the animation for a button right okay so the button supposed to be same like the way we did from the bottom to top so here we just copy here and we uh, create new android okay btt4 okay this is for the button or button course okay and here we just give the delay about 1500 and in the button we have to give the id so we got this id we're going back into the kotlin and we give like this okay and this is as a button okay and we declare another animation for the bt for the button uh course button course okay so then after that we can just simply button next course start animation button course and we play it into this emulator to see the last final animation okay let me make it a bigger so you could see uh, clearly okay wow let me reopen the app okay very cool so this is how do we make uh, animation with the kotlin with the xml from the zero okay so if you do like this kind of video please let me know and share it to your friends and yeah we're gonna continue a more more videos about this kind of animation okay so thank you very much my name is angga i'll see you in the next video tutorial so goodbye for now bye